In this demo, we will show how to streamline self-service and collaboration in a federated governed organization. First, let me introduce you to Eliana, Suresh, and Alexis. With their help, we will experience how this collaborative workflow works. Eliana is a marketing country manager in Italy. Eliana is running a new marketing campaign targeting a very particular audience to promote a new financial product designed for individuals who are close to be retired. Suresh is the domain governance manager for customer services. He is in charge of applying the governance rules from that domain perspective. Finally, Alexis is a global governance manager. He is responsible to apply corporate governance in order to meet regulatory requirements. Hi, this is Eliana, marketing country manager for Italy at Acme Bank. I need to find detailed information to reach out to the customers in my region for our next critical marketing campaign. Let us explore the data assets I have available in our corporate self-serviced Nodo data catalog. I am using some advanced tips to do my search. The first recommended result looks promising. Let us take a look. This data product is certified and recommended by someone I trust. Also the quality, SLAs and description meet my requirements. Looking at the schema, this is definitely the data product. It has all the details I am looking for. It seems that I am not able to query this data product. I need to request access to the product owners. That is not a problem. I just have to submit a request access ticket informing about my needs. I really need to be able to use this data as soon as possible, so I am classifying this as critical. I am going to also reach out directly via Teams to Shuresh to try to expedite the process. Hopefully I will get access to this data soon. Hi, Suresh here, Domain Governance Manager for Customer Service. It looks like Eliana has an important request for me. I better go to the data catalog to check it and start working on it. She has created an access request to one of the data products of customer service I am the governance responsible for. I am setting this task as in progress and messaging Eliana to inform her I am working on it. From the Denodo Design Studio I can implement the access rules. First of all, let us take a look at the customer details data product. This data product has information from customers all around the world. Nevertheless, country managers like Eliana should only have access to the information of the region they are responsible for. To model this scenario, I am going to leverage attribute-based access controls. This will offer a maintainable, sophisticated but also straightforward solution. I can obtain from the user session the country information, which is a personalized attribute of each user defined in the corporate identity provider. Therefore, I have to create a domain security policy, which, using semantic concepts in the form of tags, will map the country concept from customer details in this case. This way, within my domain, Customer service, I am applying this restriction to the customer country managers. In the particular case of Eliana, this will get the attribute Italy and will filter to show the customers from Italy. This solution will apply not just to Eliana as a country manager for Italy. This is a generic solution that applies for any country manager restricting to see the data only for the corresponding country. Now that the policy is implemented and enabled, I have to assign execute privileges over the customer details data product so Eliana can actually query it. Alright. Now the only step pending for me is to go back to the ticket and update it accordingly. First is to categorize the status to complete it. Finally, I am going to message Eliana to communicate the grant. Hi there. Alexis Chen, Platform Governance Manager. 
my responsibility is to ensure data privacy and data protection across the domains. I have established a set of cross-domain concepts that should be mapped to the corresponding fields of the products exposed by the domains. For example, if I review the PII address concept, this has been assigned to multiple fields of the customer details data product by customer service domain. Similarly, the financial information regarding credit card was associated to one column of customer details. To these concepts, I am in charge of defining the corresponding data access and masking rules to ensure this sensitive data is not disclosed to unauthorized users. For example, I have created a global policy related to credit card details information. Anywhere a field is mapped with to the PIFI card tag, the masking will occur. The policy is defined to be applied to everyone by default, and I can include a list of roles as exceptions to this rule. Finally, I am applying a custom masking to hide the credit card details. I have received an email notification with updates regarding my request. Let us see if I got it approved. Excellent! The request is completed so I can just start getting the data I need. I am not very technical so I use the assisted query functionality as I just have to ask for the data. Let us do an exploratory query to find the number of customers I have for this highly personalized marketing campaign. Okay, now let us ask for the detailed information of the customers I am targeting. I need to obtain the details from customers who are close to their retirement age. Even if my SQL skills are limited, I can validate the results reading the query explanation so I know exactly what are the results I am getting. This is really helpful. We have seen in action how different users with different roles and responsibilities implement self-service in a distributed and federated governance model. Eliana explores and finds the data product she is looking for via the Denodo data catalog. Then she communicates the access request to Suresh using the embedded ticketing system. Suresh through semantics and tag-based policies applies sophisticated restrictions. Also Alexis leverages semantics to ensure regulations are met throughout all the domains. Then, the grant is communicated to Eliana. Finally, Eliana can get the insights she needs without any technical knowledge, just using natural language in the power of AI.